I'm Jason Mears and this is Windows Server 2019 IP address and hostname, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. So this is a brand new install of Server 2019 and we're going to go to properties and one of the first things I'm going to do is go to themes and desktop icon settings just because I like the computer icon on the desktop. Old habits die hard. So if I right click on this and select properties, I'm going to go to computer name, domain and work group and I'm going to click on change to change the computer name. And I'm going to call it AD101, Active Directory, Domain Controller, with an IP address that ends in .101. And I'm going to tell it to restart later, because the next thing I want to change is the IP address for this machine, because currently it's on DHCP. Not a great idea for a domain controller. We really need a fixed IP address so that things can find it. Bear in mind that if you're doing this over remote control, you may lose connection to the server because you're changing the IP address. Uh, I'm doing this through the VMware console so I'll be fine here but if you were doing this over RDP or some other kind of remote control that relied on the IP address, changing the IP address in the middle uh, of, of doing this work may cause you to drop the connection. So I'm going to set it to 101 and I'm going to use um, DNS servers of 115 and 114. And I'm going to disable NetBIOS over TCPRP. I'm going to save that. So we've changed the host name of the server and we've changed the IP address to be a, a static or a fixed IP address that ends in .101 so that this machine has got a, a fixed IP address and we can always guarantee what IP address it's going to be on, something that's very important for servers and domain controllers. So we're going to restart the host and then log back into it just to make sure that those settings have taken effect. So control alt delete or control um, sorry the control delete button or control alt insert um, to to send that command to the virtual machine rather than our own machine. When Server Manager starts up, we'll look at the local server and we'll look at the details just to see what we've currently got set for the host name and the IP address. So the computer name has changed, it's now called AD101, and the Ethernet address or the IP, the IP address is now .101. So we've successfully changed the host name and give it a fixed IP address. If I just go to a command prompt and type host name, we can just double, convert, sorry, I'm going to do an IP config first, just to show the IP address. So this is the basic version of IP config. I'm going to do IP config again with a forward slash all to give slightly more information. But the real reason for showing this is that there's a setting here called the physical address. That's the MAC address, media access control or MAC address. Uh, that's the bit that uniquely identifies the network card. I'm also going to do a root print and we can see which routes and which uh, interfaces we're going to use for IP communication. So IP config, IP config all and root print are probably the commands you use most. Um, I'm just going to stick another one here which is ARP minus A and this is a list of all the IP addresses and MAC addresses that the server is currently aware of. Again, just quite useful for troubleshooting. We're going to do an NS lookup as well, name server lookup. We can put in a an, an, uh, domain name here and resolve it to an IP address. Or alternatively, we can do something like put in an IP address and resolve it to a domain name. So in this case, we'll do www.google.com and it returns a few different addresses. And if I do it the other way around, I put in an IP address. It should tell me what the um, DNS name is for that IP address if reverse lookup has been set up correctly. So just a few commands there to play with. These are the things you probably should be familiar with if you're going to manage a Windows server going forward. So that was Windows Server 2019, IP address and host name, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope you found that useful.